Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be doing a tag. I'm so excited. A little while ago, a woman named Stacy Angel, who she's a fellow YouTuber here and she makes her own videos, she contacted me and said that a group of ladies were getting together to do a tag and all of these ladies are pretty new to YouTube and I'm super excited. She recently sent me the list of other people who are in this um, tag and I'm so excited to get them to get to know them as well. I'm definitely more inclined to smaller YouTubers or YouTubers who have less uh, less subscribers. Um, I just feel like it's more of a way to get to know them but with that said everybody starts somewhere so who knows where you know we'll all be in a few years. The first video that I ever watched of Stacey Angel, the lady who's kind of spearheading this whole thing, um, it was a, let me look, it's her video called You Can Still Dream Big because I was just, you know, I recently got a new job and I'd really like to stay focused on my career and stuff and so I was watching like some motivational videos and that's kind of how I first came upon her. Um, and she posts just a lot of like beauty related things but she also has a lot of like lifestyle videos and her videos are just very encouraging and positive. So I definitely recommend that you check her out and I will link all of the other people who are in this tag below. With that said, let's get started. So question number one, there's ten questions is what inspired you to start making videos? Well, I've wanted to do it a long time. I think I first started getting into YouTube videos, into watching YouTube videos when I was a sophomore in college, which that must have been about 2012. And the first person that I watched, and I don't even remember how I came upon her, but I was just in my college dorm room, and I first watched Trisha Paytas, who is Blonde Sundahl MJ, for MJ her username is and I was just like hooked from there I don't know why and it just kind of like led to me checking out all these other youtubers and before that like I wasn't really into beauty or makeup or anything and then from there I started to get really into beauty and like I went to the drugstore like literally that week and was just like getting stuff that people had recommended from YouTube and it just led to a lot of really positive things in my life I needed like that little bit of of push to kind of like start caring about myself a little bit more and YouTube honest I know that that sounds kind of deep but it's true I just needed like the encouragement of other people to help me to realize my own desire to just be the best version of myself number two how long have you been on YouTube I think since December or November um, I've wanted to make videos for a long time, but I lived with my parents and I just didn't really feel like, you know, I had the setup or the lighting or anything. And right now I'm just using natural lighting and a camera that was given to me a couple years ago, but, um, I'm just using what I have. And I just feel like now that I'm living off on my own, like, I just feel like I can just do whatever I want with my own time. Number three, where do you see yourself in your YouTube in a couple of years? I don't know, I'm hoping that I still um, am doing YouTube in a few years and I would love to have better quality. I really would like to get a nicer camera and better quality. Um, I feel like my lighting is pretty good right now just because I'm using natural lighting. You can't get any better than that. Um, but I'm just using the camera that I have. It's a Canon Rebel T2i and my older brother gave it to me because his girlfriend has a nicer camera and they weren't really using it so he just is letting me borrow it or have it or whatever I don't think that if he ever asked for it back of course I'd give it to him but anyways I just want I want better quality and also like if I am still doing YouTube in a couple of years I hope that my passion for it is equal or higher than it is today number four what is your me message or mission of your videos and channel like I kind of referred to this earlier, um, I feel like YouTube just really helped me to realize the things that I wanted to see in myself and I just want to encourage other people to do that and also like I just love that you know I'm able to connect with other people through this, people that I've never spoken to in person and that I could just encourage people and also like 
I'm not just doing this for, you know, to encourage other people, but I'm doing it because I love it. Number five, how did you come up with your username and what does it mean to you? So a few times I've tried to start a blog, like a beauty blog, like especially when I was living at home with my parents. I think the first blog that I did was under a different name, but then the most recent blog that I did is under choosing treasure and I didn't stick with that at all. I only did like two posts or something. I was reading, shoot, I should have looked at the verse, but in Matthew 6 in the Bible, there's a verse that says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And that has just really rung true for me. And even though this is a very like beauty-centered video, I know that scripture is true. And I need to be putting my treasures in place that are worthwhile. And as much as, you know, I get excited about beauty and I love talking about makeup, there's things that are definitely more important and I wanted to bring my beliefs, I wanted to incorporate my beliefs into my channel and even into my username. And so that's where that came from. Number six, who are some of your favorite YouTubers and who inspired you to create your own channel? So there are a lot of people that I watch. I already mentioned um, Trisha Paytas and I watch both her videos on her main channel and then also on her vlog channel. I love her. And right before I filmed this, I just kind of scrolled through my watch later playlist on here and just wrote down some people who I literally always watch. No matter what video they post, I'll watch it pretty much. There are a few of Trisha Paytas's videos that I don't watch. Some of like her more like um, scandalous ones. I don't know. It's just... It's not, they're not for me, so I just choose not to watch them. That's the thing about YouTube is I'm not a hater. Like, I don't watch what isn't for me. You know what I mean? And so, some of the other people that I love are Lisa Lisa D1. She has, like, such exquisite taste, and she, like, I just, she's so positive, you guys, and she's awesome. And Amber F., who is a fellow Project Painter on here, I love her. She is great. Um, she recently posted like a get ready with me chit chat video and it was just so nice to like get ready with her because I watched it while I was doing my own makeup in the morning and that was really enjoyable. She And she is like so passionate about project panning that she, and she like gets me excited to finish up my products so I definitely recommend her as well. Another person is Lauren May Beauty. She's another person who, um, first of all, her makeup always looks fantastic, and she's so beautiful. She just looks flawless, and um, she is another person who project pans and declutters and stuff, and so she is another person who kind of keeps me focused and encourages me to really be conscious and aware of the beauty products that I have and that the and of the ones that I'm purchasing. Another project panner is Pretty Pistol 86. She is an intelligent woman and she also is another person that just keeps me on track with project panning. Mr. Kong's mom, she's another person that has a very like chill vibe to her videos, but I just love her. She's beautiful and um, she posts a lot a wide variety of videos and I just like to hear her talk. And then the last person that I want to mention is Stephanie Nicole, she is a per she her videos are such high quality and she actually works in the beauty industry so I just feel like she actually knows what she's talking about. She knows the ingredients and products and not only does she post like killer tutorials, but she posts videos that not everybody else are po is posting, especially in regards to beauty. I highly highly recommend her. I highly recommend all these people and there's there are a lot of other people that I just love. Number seven, what are your favorite videos to make and what is your favorite part of making the video process? My favorite part of making videos is definitely this part is like sitting down and talking with you guys and responding to your comments. And my favorite videos to make are the ones where I am passionate about what I'm talking about. Like the one that I most recently posted and I think it'll be up by the time that I post this but it's about a, a perfume and it's similar to Bobbi Brown's Beach perfume and it's called Adrift by Hot Topic and that video was really fun for me to make because I actually like meant what I was saying and I am a type of person that I get ex really like stupidly excited whoops sorry my sister just texted me I get stupidly excited about products and beauty and stuff and just to have a place to come talk about that to with people who probably have similar interests as me is just like 
That's my favorite part about YouTube. Number eight, what does your family think of your new adventure and do they support you or even know you do it? Yes, um, they support me 100%. Like people that I, I didn't, I wasn't like, when I posted my first YouTube video, like I didn't like go and tell my family like, oh, I'm posting this, but like it just kind of naturally came up in a conversation. And there, I have five siblings and a lot of them are YouTube watchers and they have just all been so, so, so supportive and like, um, my, I know that my mom and my sisters like watched one of my videos together. They watched the blush tag video that I did. And like ever since I started creating videos, my mom will like text me about like YouTubers that she likes and stuff. And which I don't, I just love it. So yes, they are so supportive. Number nine, how do you get inspired to make more video content? Just getting excited about products and all, especially like watching other people's videos. Like every single time I watch like a get ready with me chit chat, that literally just makes me want to chat with you guys. And now when I go to the store and I look at beauty products and stuff, like I think of products that I want to do videos on and that I want to show you guys and also like I just try to post what I like to watch. It's funny, okay this is kind of a side thing, but when I actually went for my interview a few months ago for the job that I currently have, walking into the interview like I was just trying to remind myself, I was getting pretty nervous and I've been, and I've also done a lot of interviews so I know that like your nerves can really screw it up and mess something up. And I just thought to myself, I want to be the person that I want to be. And I know that sounds like kind of a dumb quote, but it's true. Like I want, I need to think of the person that I want other people to see me as and I need to be working towards being that person. And I feel like YouTube brings out a really good side in me. Just that aspect alone encourages me to continue creating videos. Number 10, what would be your dream video to make? My dream video to make would be to do some with my siblings. Um, I think that that would be really fun. And I think that it, it's actually realistic. So, I don't know. Stay tuned, you guys. We'll see if I can convince, if I can wrangle some of them in. Because, um, I mean, like, my ones with sisters would be pretty, like, easy to do because they both love makeup and stuff. And then my the ones with my brothers I'm sure that we could just do like a funny challenge or something but yeah all right you guys that is it 10 questions so be sure to go check the other ladies in this I will link them below and I'm just really excited and thankful to be a part of this tag if you have a YouTube channel please comment below and I would love to check you out and just let's just support each other because this is fun and Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.